Hello, so it's community. Welcome back to another world of tanks conservation. So in this video, I'm going to be driving the M3A1 Bradley. So this is a Era 2 premium light tank that fires ATGs and has a main gun. Basically, it's a multi-weapon system. Um, quickly, this tank's just like a Bradley. A Era 3 Bradley put at Era 2. The missiles that you have on the ATGs that you have on this Bradley are pretty much the unupgraded uh, missiles on the Era 3 Bradley, the M3A2 Bradley. So yeah, that's what you're working at. What they, they can be pretty good at Era 3, but they're really good in Era 2 because they have high penetration and great damage. Uh, the damage is 1,100 damage per sh uh, 1,100 damage per shot, and its pen is quite good at 630 on its standard ATGs and 800 on its premium. So if you get really in that tricky situation, fire your premium ATGs. Also, the premium ATGs are also much faster than the standard ATGs, which is actually very interesting to know. So. The standard has 296 meters per second, and the premium is 329 meters per second. It's a 40 second reload, no matter what ATGM you load, and you get two shots per clip, and I'm pretty sure the inner clip reload is 11 seconds, which is 12 seconds, which is a very long time. Uh, pretty long for an ATGM, longer than most. Most are usually like eight to 10 seconds. This one's longer at 12 seconds. Um, the main gun. The main gun's penetration and damage is the same as the Era 3 Bradley's, but dropped down to Era 3, Era 2, where things have a lot less hit points and a lot less armor. Your 150 millimeters of penetration can go through a lot more things than the Era 3 Bradley's can. Also, your inner cliff reload is a lot better. Inner cliff reload is, I think it's one second. It's 0.3 seconds. 0.3 seconds. Penetration is 150 and damage per shot is 30. And you do to get high explosive rounds, which are pretty good at shooting down buildings. A lot better than your AP FDS rounds. Also, I'm gonna have two matches for you in this Bradley. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Anyway, let's talk about the equipment and crew skills I have on this tank. Also, this tank is pretty dang slow if you don't boost the mobility. And it's huge. It's 61.2 forward and 28.9 reverse. Pretty good reverse speed. It's power to weight ratio is 25.24. And you may notice in this match, between the two matches, that the M3A1 Bradley does have a little bit of armor. I did ricochet a shell from the 4211 off the back of my tank, but the real armor is in the front of the tank. It's not really going to stop a lot of shells, but it's like three layers of armor right there, three or four at the front of the tank, which can stop some small arms fires, like the BMP2. The BMP2 B2, the Furads, and I I don't think you can stop the... You may have the potential to stop the main gun of the Bradley actually pinning you from the front. Heat rounds are also going to struggle to go through the front of this tank. Remember, it's, a, it's not all over the tank. It's just like on the lower half of the tank, on the upper hull. And you can see it right there. So, it's a nice bit of armor. Don't really rely on it, but... It's, don't really rely on it. HGMs do go through it. Um, when you're facing BMP2s and Farabs or using the, uh, the machine gun, easily can get blocked. The shells can get easily blocked by that armor. Now, let's go through the equipment and crew skills like I said I was going to go through. So, I have power train, traction system, the advanced target info, and the advanced concealment on this tank. My commander skills are born leader, supply conservation, green thumb, steady aim, camouflage expertise, muffle shot, 
right on the gun, six cents, and situation awareness to bring my view range to 578, which is actually quite nice. But my still concealment is 202. Um, both guns are actually pretty fun to use on this thing. The small little gun can be good at shooting down buildings and stuff like that, and cleaning up tanks that have low amounts of hit points, or just firing at distances like this, just trying to get a pen. It's not really effective, but it's kind of just fun to do. Also, you can use the small gun as a distraction. Because earlier, I was there was a match for me and a leopard. It was a leopard fighting in 4-2-11. And it was just... It was a 1v1. Leopard versus 4-2-11. The leopard was losing. And I... My missiles were still on cooldown. Uh, still on a reload. So I went down there with the main gun. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use my little gun. And I'm just going to distract the 4-2-11. Get the 4-2-11's attention while the leopard... It's almost down to a two shot, and I'm pretty much full health. I'm just going to circle the 4211, get the 4211's attention while the leper shoots him down and waiting for my AT gems to reload. Because the AT gems and the, um, the small gun actually has a faster reload than the AT gems. The reload, the reload on the AT gems is 40 seconds, the reload on the main gun is 31 seconds. So, yeah. And there's a 4211. Boop. There's a couple thousand. A thousand. 110 damage to a 4211. Quite nice. And. Yeah. The main. The AT gems are definitely your main source of damage. But the little gun is pretty inaccurate. But it is always fun to use. You get that gun to penetrate and you get a tank that's not really focusing you you just get behind them and you just rip on shreds with this gun um i kind of said this earlier but using the main gun at distances is not really effective because the shells it's not that accurate the main gun is not that accurate it, there's like a big spread between each shell like other guns that ha other guns that are like the Bradley's main gun are usually kind of like together can the spread's not that big but on this one the spread is pretty big if you're just snipe at distances or just medium to medium range distances really does suck also this is one of the off distance uh one of the examples of Bradley kind of just rips apart so yeah, I put one missile into the 4 to 11 killed the Leopard with small gun, and killed the M60A1 Rise when the other ATGM loaded. Quite simple. Push that flank pretty nice. And yeah. Right here, I'm just going to go down here for this T72AV. Try to distract him from shooting out the other Bradley. And I'm just going to circle him. And just trying to get him to focus me and be completely distracted so he's not really trying to run away hide and cover he's just focusing on me and that's precisely what i wanted i sacrifice some damage some hit points to distract him so yeah came out on top there and there's a sheridan with 723 hit points that sheridan's going to run away and yeah, there's two Sheridans to keep that in mind. There's the Sheridan on 723 hit points that is running away. And there's another Sheridan. It's on 1,200 hit points. Fire AT gym. Switch to the main gun. Put some uh, damage into him. Now, this Sheridan is trying to kill itself. Now, the small gun cannot actually get its gun down. But the AT gyms can. And my AT gyms loaded. And I knocked out the Sheridan. Sheridan tried to kill itself. And yeah, now this map. Yeah, that spot is very tricky. I've killed myself there so many times. I've seen so many people kill themselves, not on purpose, in that spot a lot. And that's just one of the spots on this map that gets you killed all the time. 
that little indent where the water just flows in. Anyway, that's it for this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Also, remember to stop fish because why would you not? And peace out. See ya.